Okay, so it's been a while since I've done a sort of uh, unboxing video just because, well, to be honest, I don't really have the money to buy the things I want, but when I do happen to, to uh, scrape up enough change, I, uh, I do invest in things that I believe will uh, help me and aid me in my understanding of God's ultimate revelation in Christ. And so, as for most of you know, who follow my channel, I have this sort of obsession with the Temple of Jerusalem, the meeting tent, um, because we can learn so much about the Psalms, so much from the Psalms about the Temple. If you notice, a lot of the times the, the Psalms will mention um, going up to Jerusalem going and going to the Temple and seeing the face of God and seeing God on his throne, all of that language actually has to do with different aspects of the temple. And so what I did was I ordered a cardboard scale model of Solomon's temple. So this is part one. Part two, I'll show you the finished product. Now, the, the, the beauty of it is that this, it came with this lovely book. It's by a Protestant publisher, actually. I must, I must hand it over to the Protestants there quite handy at coming up with very useful resources for understanding um, the Holy Temple of Jerusalem and how it relates to Christ. It starts off with the very beginning about Abraham, uh, the meeting tent. Here's a picture of an actual live scale model of the meeting tent as it, as it actually looked in the desert. Um, so lots of useful re images here to explain the faith for our children. Here's a beautiful illustration of the meeting tent, the tabernacle in the desert. Um, see, all these things point to Christ. You know, just every single aspect, the, 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 the altar of incense, the laver, the priest, the, the, uh, the offerings, everything, separating the holy from the profane, everything here points in some way to the kingdom of God, to the church um, and the body of Christ as the true temple of God. And... I'm just so happy that I got this, and I, I, I plan to go through it with you guys um, and show you the finished model. I plan to have this model right on the altar next to my most sacred possession, the Latin Vulgate Bible. So you have to understand that a, a good chunk of the Bible is devoted to the, nit, the uh, nitpicky details of the construction and the uh, practice of the Levitical, the construction of the temple and the, 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 the liturgical, liturgical practices of the people of Jerusalem, people of Israel, and how all of this leads to the liturg liturgical practices of the church. All of the things we do in the Catholic Church have in some, uh, in some way traced their origins back to the temple, particularly the tabernacle is the Holy of Holies where we keep the body of Christ, I mean, it just goes on and on. I did a whole summer of research on the uh, Temple of Jerusalem and how, 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 how liturgical the scriptures are. You know, it's, it's, it's a shame that there are people who say we, uh, liturgy robs us of a true encounter with God when liturgy gives us a concrete, sensible experience of God's presence in our lives. And... Um, so this isn't an attempt to go back and somehow um, rebuild something that was already fulfilled. But the, the thing is, um, the more you learn about the temple of Jerusalem, the more you learn about Christ. Because everything that he did and said was in some way a fulfillment of the, uh, the Jerusalem temple and its priesthood and its practices. So this is a good day. I praise God for this day. This is probably one of the better Mondays. Woke up feeling very stressed as usual, but prayed through it. Lots of negative thoughts came in in the morning, and um, then this came in. So God is good, and I hope that I hope that you're ben that you will benefit somehow from these videos. And if you ever care to order one of these, the um, this is an imported book. It's from the U.S. It's by uh, the uh, Candle Discover series. Um, Biblical resource uh, company in um, Arkansas. So we don't hear too many good things about Arkansas, but I'll tell you what, this is one of the things that we uh, can definitely thank Arkansas for. Okay.
So we will um, we'll get back with you later. This is what the model should look like after it's done. I must admit I am terrible at models, so this may take longer than I expect. So wish me luck. Pray for me.